welcome to How It Makes Cool Fun, the socially awkward edition. Welcome. We are your hosts, Ayla and Lily and Susan the Manatee. Susan! Step number one. Play Pokemon in your head while walking around the school aisles. And make up fun names for people you have no idea who the hell they are. For example, a wild Susan the Manatee appears. Step number two, say things in your head to your teachers that you would never say out loud. Such as, bitch please, really, seriously, what the hell is this? Why are we learning this? You know how to fucking read. Get rid of your teaching degree now. You fail. I hate when you're smarter than your teacher. Like, you're the one that went to college. I'm in high school. Step number three. Now in my school, there is a very abandoned hallway that is home to one classroom, the special education office, and these two giant black guys who look like they're 25 and look like they want to rape you. So when you go, when you find yourself in that abandoned hallway, fall behind that one group of nerds who walks cluelessly down the hallway so you don't get raped. Step number five, enjoy overhearing the weird conversations and looking at the glorious facial expressions of the people in the hallway, such as WHY WOULD YOU USE SUCH LANGUAGE IN SCHOOL? Yep. Number five, I think. Do you ever find yourself in a situation where there are two people talking about sex while you're trying to learn science? Specifically when you're stuck in between them. Well, when they are going like this in front of your face, talking about dropping out of school at 16 to give lap dances and sell weed while having babies, this is, if, if they are seriously talking about this, try to maintain a poker face, such as, which guy should I have sex with this weekend? <laughs> poker face. While your teacher cluelessly talks about dirt. Poker face. And you just sit there thinking, I hate my life. Oh god, I hate my life. F I hate my life. Kill me. FML. Kill me. FML. Stab me in the head. Just end my life. Please euthanize me. Mentally choking myself. Just kill me now, God. Use the force. The force. Just kill everything. The force. Step number six. When you find yourself in a school with extremely ghetto people and people that's like cows. You first avoid eye contact, and then you run like hell! Step number seven. Seven. That is seven. When you are confronted with really extremely stupid people who sit next to you and ask if you can- if, and ask if they can borrow your homework, you tell them no. And when they scream at you saying, you're such a goody two-shoes, you refrain from laughing your ass off and being like, ha ha ha, at least I'll be in college and won't be sitting in a box on the side of the road collecting change. Well said. Step number eight. When random guys slide trash cans towards your table, you just kind of take the trash can, push it to the other side of the table, look at your friends, laugh a little, then continue eating. And then, when the people on the table next to them come and take that trash can back, and those other people slide at you again, you continue the process, and you just slide the trash can, behind your table, where it can safely remain until some moron comes and tries to retrieve it again, and then you beat them viciously with your backpack. It's never failed me. Step number nine. eight. Eight, nine, eight, eight. 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 At my school, there are quite a lot of ghetto people. Now, I'm sure they're fairly nice people, but they are ghetto. So this one girl just has beautifully high aspirations, such as, at a college seminar, she said, a beautiful line. She said, I want to go to beauty school, and if I can't go to beauty school, I want to go to Harvard, and if I can't go to Harvard, I want to be a model. And the same girl, at a different college seminar, revealed her beautiful life goals to us, which are a doctor, a lawyer, a therapist, and a teacher. Susan, 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 Susan. Okay, is that enough? <laughs> It just somehow fits on her fat, manly body. Manly body. Okay. Hitting you in the face is a vanity. 